Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. I am Triclide Tamer. Here we are at this puzzle of pounding, and now that we have Thudley, we're able to use Bowser's great powers to kill cheap cheeps and pound things down. And our pattern is going to be up, down, down, up, down, up. I'm surprised I remembered that without writing it down, especially since it's been that long since I uploaded a video. I'm pretty sure I uploaded the day I recorded the previous episode, and now that it's uh, June 28th, we're this much farther in. I want to be better about recording and uploading on a consistent basis. Alright, we got a new enemy here called Bitacuda. Let's see, I want to use my catch card SP as the enemy I was planning to use it on. See if it'll work, because I don't think there's any uh, catch cards for it, so that's why I'm deciding to use it here. Alright, and it falls into the water. Uh, I'll reset my game for that, I guess. <laughs> Bowser is jogging in place. Yay, it fell right into place. Good thing it wasn't just that couple extra inches. But yeah, it's Bitacuda, and as I said, I do want to be better about being more consistent with uploading and recording. So, I'm going to record a session of Super Paper Mario right here, so I don't feel tempted to, after ending an episode, do the whole audio exporting, so I'm just going to go one big session and only stop recording the video, so I can just uh, restart the video capture, but keep the audio one big stream. Bloop! Ooh, or well, something so bloopy that can be scaring those bitacudas away. Bloop, bloop! What's going on? Oh, it's the flippers that we've been seeing. And a red flipper. Haven't we been told to toast something like that? Well, I mean, we're not going to be toasting ourselves, so it's not a problem. And I just like how the flat sounding remix of the underwater theme. Yes, that's a giant blooper. They only get bigger and bigger, and I'm pretty sure there's a decent sized one in Six Star as well, but I'm pretty sure this is the biggest one in the Mario series by far. Bloop, 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 bloop! Hey, Land Freaks, how'd you like a tentacle sandwich? Alright, surprise mini boss, this giant blooper here. Oh boy, and ooh, he's trying to skewer me, and succeeded in doing so. Man, I just love the mini-boss music. I'm just, you know, this isn't the first time we heard it. We, uh, we heard it in the last episode thing, because we were fighting the Koopa Strikers on the way to Bowser, but then Bowser had his own music that we only heard for like 10 seconds because it's so darn easy. Alright, here we go. Red flipper. There we go. Bloop, bloop! Bloop, 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 bloop! No, not there, please. Anywhere but there. Don't be stomping on my tootsies or whatever he says in thousand year door but yeah about the music I just like how the flippers are like gyrating to it it's like a little dance remix oh it's fun the mini bosses in this game are fun they may not be as a uh, strategy based as they were in the previous games but at least this game is fun in the platforming adventure aspect <laughs> I just like how blink is expressing it he's blinks his pupils why do characters blink only their pupils unless that is the uh, entirety of his eye and that's just like eye shadow. Maybe he like inks himself to make himself look more intimidating. Just like a white pupil on this blank space baby and I'll write your bloopy name. Alright, uh, I don't think he has a specific amount of HP. We just have to toast them a certain number of times and of course if you hit the other bloopers they don't do anything. And the yellow ones are in a way to prevent us from escaping of course. I don't even know if we can use a moon jumping hack if that's even a thing for this game. Bloop! Alright, just roast them a few of those times, and we're golden. And it's like how Bowser's arms just rotate like that. He's so mechanical, there's something secret up here. But yes, as I enumerated last episode, if that's even the right word to use here, there are no catch cards in this chapter section, so we are good to just do however we dang please. But I guess while we're out here, might as well just go into 3D. Because it looks cool in the 3D cubiness of Star Block to hit and end off this chapter section by saying, End of chapter! Do, do. I like to set my finger when it closes to the complete blackness. Somehow the heroes had beached the big blooper and crossed the tile pool, but before they could dry it, they saw the imposing silhouette of Fort Francis. It sure is getting dark, Peach said in a quiet voice. But when they looked up, they realized they were in the shadow of a huge tree. Mario, knowing in his gut this must be the way, 
set out toward the Great Tree. Is it the Great Deku Tree? The Great Boggly Tree? But no, this is Chapter 33. Up, up, and a tree! Which has the Great Dotwood Tree, as the place marker says. Alrighty, uh, let me make sure my stuff is right. Okay, there's only one cat shop here, and it's a uh, little tiny tree thing, but like this, uh, small tree that's bigger in comparison, but of course there's this huge tree that's like a thousand by a thousand, well, certainly as many horizontally as there is vertical. I'm just thinking like a block building kind of thing. <laughs> Imagine somebody recreating this, like, individual pixel by pixel in Minecraft. I'm not even a big Minecraft fan, but... <laughs> Somebody's probably done that. Maybe not to scale. Well, maybe to scale, of course, because, yeah. And I want to amend what I do, okay? <laughs> getting level up by getting this slow flower here. See if I can make myself up. No, I can't. I'm falling all the way down. That's great for me. But yeah, about the whole uh, controller shaking thing, I don't want to shake it rather than tilt it. Like, so I just, like, pull it back like I'm, uh, I don't know, controlling a joystick, even though I'm using a rectangular controller, and that works better. So of course if you follow your toes, and we got these new enemies here, I kind of forget what they're called, it's like something hooligan whatever. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working quite to my advantage, but it's better than just like wildly shaking my controller like this and having my voice gyrate like so. And that's two times I've used the word gyrate, it might be even more, but I don't know. And then we got the speed flower here, so we just gotta switch to Mario because of course stuff is the way it is and there is these blocks, or there are rather. I gotta speak with your proper grandma. The proper grandma. Woo, throw my way over here! And it's just uh, his arrows pointing up, it's like yeah you wanna go up here. And the music is all distorted as it goes back to normal. Distorted on its way to normal. Maybe that could be like like a band name or whatever. And it flops that stuff down. We got a green guy. I expect to see a lot of these guys and flopping me around like this. No! Alright, I made my way back up this way. We got a mushroom to heal myself back up. I want to kill you without you knocking me down and rack up my points. Um, I don't even want to say I'm over leveled, but this game actually does do a good job of. Uh, keeping you from being over level. Of course, you can just like do the thing with the bullet builds, even though you get less and less points over time, and I'm pretty sure you can uh, start to lose points. So before I lose coins, I want to flip into 3D because it doesn't count the extra coins and it makes them disappear. As always, coins are never really an issue, and you just do whatever. You just like make up some recipes and cook them up and sell them and make profit. It's always those turbos that screw me up. Alright, finally, let's make our way to the top, and the door is partially blocked. But remember, Bowser is bark and bite, so we can just burn the bark to bite our way through. Something like that. <laughs> Takes a second, but then the little jingle comes in. It's like a few seconds later. Do -do 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 -do. And it takes a second for it to just do the thing. <laughs> and I was pressing right, but it registered us up because of the sensitivity of Wii Remotes. <laughs> what the heck was Bowser doing there with that little pose? Yeah, Bowser has the greatest poses. And sometimes he just gets like a smiley face. And of course, since Bowser's big, uh, I get hit by things. Music notes, oh boy. What kinds of enemies are connotated with music notes? Yes. Crazy daisies, of course, we're not going to be dealing with them quite the second, because we're going to be all the way up here, we're just going to stomp the switch, and it's going to make it red, it's not going to, like, just make platforms simply up here, it's going to be a little bit of a puzzle sequence, and of course, we're going vertical, and it's fun. I like vertical levels in games, because it's like a process you have to do, and if you fall, you have to retrace your steps. Alright, uh, what do I want to do here? I think I just want to simply step on this, but then I want to place Boomer down and see if I can make a strategy out of it. See if it's good for me and beneficial. I'm so frick darn impatient that I fell down so much. Why am I doing the French flair for things? Alright, it's going to make the uh, ladder appear so I can actually go down and hit the switch, which I have to. 
Alright, you want your switch to be red? Let's kill this crazy daisy up here. They have a lot of HP. That must be more than 8 because I already hit him once on the way up here. Daisy Tear is that a rare item because I haven't really gotten any in practice and I've killed all of the ones that I've seen. Oh boy, you don't want to hit me with the 8th note there. You got... That's all 8th notes you have and some of them are joined together to make a quarter note. What the heck is going on there? As you saw, we'd have to shake to wake up, but that's no easy task. I almost forgot that we want to flip in the 3D right here, actually, to be able to move on. I was like, wait, wait what do I want to do with the Switch? It's like, oh yeah, you gotta flip in the 3D. It was second nature to me in practice, but of course, since now that we're recording, it's not really in the back burner of my mind, and like, I'm completely lined up with the borders of the pixels. I wonder if that's in if it's impossible to uh, go in between, but no, I can seemingly walk more up that way. I'm good. Ooh, that's the dotted half note? Quarter note? I couldn't really tell because it was like decorated in a weird way. And C? C is cheap. Come on, what are you doing? Okay, at least it doesn't hit me the second one that was going on. These guys are equally as annoying in this game as they are in the previous games. They're given a little bit more HP. Alright, let's uh, position myself a little bit better so I can land Boomer down there and make a strategy happen. Float with Peach up this way and get down this pipe. I don't even know why I wrote that out. I was thinking, like, hmm, what do I want to do here? Alright, let's switch to Bowser and Studley because I just want to be so strong against these chain chomps that I don't even need to do much more. I can just, like, simply jump on them with Bowser and kill them. <laughs> they must have 4 HP or less. 4 HP would make sense because they're chain chomps and chain chomps are defensive and have HP to boot. And that's a Peach 2 card. You know, I've never really pulled up the card stuff, so let's go all the way down to 224, which is Peach 2 and her wedding dress. Believe it or not, that's actually the last catch card we'll be getting here in Chapter 3. You would think Francis would have catch cards in his fort, but he doesn't. I don't care about his Grotus Chronicles issues and stuff. Or actually, it's Starship X, not, I guess, I think it's based off Grotus Chronicles, or maybe, actually, I'm pretty sure it's a show and a comic. We'll see more about that when we get into his little lair. It might seem a little sequence breaky, but what I want to do here is just do that. Maybe there's like a hole in between the spikes, but no, it doesn't seem to be the case. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta get our way down to here, and as you can tell, there's a little bit different shading, so we actually want to place Boomer down and not get screwed over by that guy and make that block red. It has been tested, we can go through with Slim. That was the only thing I've ever really known to go sequence break for, so alright. We want to flip to 3D while on this block, and of course it's going to switch the perspective so we seem to fall off. At least the, the brown blocks of the tree are pretty solid. I want to avoid you, but get you if I can get a small enough jump. I don't even need to do a full-on jump. But we hit the switch, and we can make the door appear. So what do we want to do afterwards? We want to jump all the way down, and of course, we're just landing on all this stuff. Oh, come on, I just want to have a free fall down. I could switch to 3D, but I didn't want to think of doing it. But then, after all that stuff, we are going to go ahead and take this pipe again and make our way back up here, which I will be ending this episode of Let's Play Super Paper Mario for. Sorry, guys. Until next time on Let's Play Super Paper Mario, where we take on the boss of this more or less short chapter section, don't toast yourself. <laughs>